Hello there, my lovely Virgos. We are here at the weekend. Yay! Oh, welcome back, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Please keep in mind these are general messages, so some may or may not resonate for you. Just also remember, these messages are for entertainment purposes only. Um, all right, let's get into this. We're going to do your weekend reading and see what messages come up for your weekend. So I already shuffled. I was shuffling. And we got a few cards already popped out here. So you've got not today, uh, not dealing, feeling hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, having boundaries, putting up boundaries, still angry. You also have hand of cards, taking a chance, taking a risk, being strategic, Having options, not showing your hand, gambling. So I feel like the first message is there's definitely going to be a call coming in from someone that you are not wanting to talk to. You're going to take a risk and actually not respond to the call, not respond to the text. This might be something that you um, aren't used to doing or something that you might find to be uncomfortable to do, right? Maybe before you usually did respond or you... Um, felt like you have to respond or you did, felt like you didn't want somebody to be mad at you or you really love someone and you feel maybe a sense of guilt if you don't respond. No, it looks like you're going to put up some boundaries over this weekend. Um, be a bit strategic here. Not let somebody know how you feel. You're not going to express your anger. Um, you're not going to show that you're angry. You're just not going to... You're, it looks like you're probably going to give someone the cold shoulder. You also have hammer. Um, hmm. Yeah, I kind of feel like you're laying the hammer down here. Um, but I do feel like someone's going to be persistent. The reason someone is calling here because they want to, they're interrogating you. They're seeking answers. Um, they want to try to work on a relationship here and try to heal something with you. Virgo, it looks like you are just, nope, not this weekend, pal. Nope, nope, not talking to you. Don't want to talk to you. Not, yep, look, look, yep. Somebody's coming in with that Knight of Cups here. I love you. I love you. Please, can we talk? Please talk to me. Why aren't you answering the phone? Why don't you want to talk to me? Please, let's talk. Please, I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, this is what's happening. Yeah, this is what's happening. And you're just like, stay away. <laughs> Virgo's doing the old hanging up the phone okay you're not responding i feel like you're gonna get like a lot of text messages from someone and i feel like you are basically just going to be silent treating somebody um i mean listen you have to look after yourself i could say that right i mean silent treatment it really just depends. I mean, if you're dealing with someone, I, I don't ever feel like it's good to be manipulative. I don't. I feel like if, if it's always best practice to say, uh, I can't talk right now, um, or just to give someone a heads up, right? But if someone is just completely being persistent and they're not listening, you've set a boundary and they're crossing it, and then you're just, then you, ha then you have to take matters into your own hands and you got to like, you know, turn block them right i mean it's always best to do the kind thing first but then if someone is just trying to bulldoze you then you have to you know then you got to take drastic measures right so i do feel like someone's going to come in with this kind of energy and i do feel like um you know they're coming in with this love energy here and i do feel like um you just don't I, I don't know what's going on. I just feel like you're setting a boundary and you're pushing back. So I guess maybe so that you can get some peace here over the weekend or you can get just a little bit of rest or maybe just so you could sleep. <laughs> maybe you just want to sleep or maybe you're going away or you just want to be on your own. Um, you're trying to heal from something here. You might be traveling to or just trying to overcome some things some mental blocks you know the card before the six of uh, swords is the five of swords which can be a card of like mental um conflict or some type of the a b u s e word 
you know? I don't know what another word would be for that, but it's a mental thing. You know, it's communication that's harsh. Let's just say that verbal, harsh verbal communication, you know? And this is just kind of like transitioning away from that, you know? A lot of, um, a lot of apologies coming in from someone, a lot of communication coming in. And I know it's not going to resonate for everybody, but for somebody here, take just take what fits, leave the rest. But I do see someone is definitely going to be texting, calling, what have you, okay? Um, and it's going to be a lot of communication over this weekend. I'm not, I'm not seeing that you're like, ain't like, I mean, it does say like still angry. Maybe you're just going to try to get yourself in a calm place too. Um, this doesn't have to be a romantic situation. This could be with a friend or a family member or a friend, uh, anybody, not any other person other than a romantic thing. But I feel like this weekend, Virgo's kind of like, I need my R and R. I just need, I just need R and R this weekend. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to somebody. I don't want to argue. Um, I don't want to deal with this this weekend. There was some deception, some theft. There was some lies. This, uh, I'm running away from that. You might be just trying to escape this weekend. And the more you run, the more someone is, the more persistent somebody's trying to get here. You're definitely trying to get yourself in a more healing kind of, freeing yourself from a toxic relationship for someone, some of you, or an addiction. Um, healing from a heartbreak. Some of you, um, may not even be telling another person um I, I just heard some of you um are just taking it upon yourselves to just leave something and you're not telling somebody else like they have no clue uh what's going on with you you're you, you're just coming to this on your own and you're just saying you know what i'm leaving goodbye and you're just ghosting you might be ghosting you're just leaving this weekend you're just, you might just be deciding i'm just going i'm not saying anything to anybody and and that is going to trigger a lot of communication coming in as well where someone's being going to be very persistent like where are you what are you doing where are you going you know that kind of thing uh, it might even be like it's in a running away kind of thing yeah um so I'm definitely picking up a lot of that energy. Yeah. Oh, this is heavy duty. What's happening here? Let's take a look. What else is happening here for Virgo? Okay. Yeah, you're definitely on this path of clarity. You're trying to get honest with yourself. Some of you are like, Am I, do, do I need to get a divorce? Am I going... Uh, somebody might be telling you something you might be talking to somebody over this weekend or like maybe even right now or you're gaining some clarity about a person that you're connecting with um there could be a an air sign that you're connecting with over this weekend a female who's uh, you know a, a feminine she's trying to tell you some stuff let's see what is she trying to tell you Oh, she may she might be trying to convince you that this person that that you are connected with um, is is betraying you. Ooh, now the plot thickens. Hmm. Hmm. Now who is she? Who is she? Because she's showing up here. She's coming in. There's some drama happening here. I feel like, you know, I feel like um, the past few days, there's been a third party energy showing up in the readings. Did you guys notice that? I've been picking that up. There's like a third party who's been kind of interfering in some relationship. In a, in a relationship over this week, you know, a little bit towards the end of this week here. And I see her showing up here saying, hey, just so you know, your person 
is cheating, they're lying, they're betraying, or they're, they, they've been with me, or I know I have some information. And I don't know if this is true or not. But it's got you reflecting on some, some stuff. So I feel like this is all the before stuff that leads you to all this. Don't talk to me. I'm going, like, leave me alone. Something's going on here. I, I feel like you've got this person saying some stuff to you, whispering in your ear. This feels like the, the prequel <laughs> before the movie starts. Yeah. Somebody's telling you some stuff. I don't know who she is to you, but she's telling you some stuff, and it's got you in this hermit, like, okay, all right, I need to think about this. I need to kind of go in and figure out what's going on here. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And the King of Cups. Now, that King of Cups was in, that re was in the reading the other day. Remember? When we were talking about a third party... And I think we were talking about a Libra and a Pisces, too. But you're reflecting on some kind of offer this King of Cups made to you. You might have an involvement with the King of Cups. And an offer was made by this King of Cups, and now you're thinking about that. Was that a real, was that a solid, was that real? Wait a minute, something's not right. Something's not right. Am I being lied to? Who's lying to me? Is this Queen of Cups lying to me? Or is this King of Cups lying to me? What's going on? That's why you're kind of like disappearing over this weekend. Trying to gain some clarity here. Trying to get some peace of mind. And you've got your person who's like, what, what's going on? What's going on? Being very persistent. The star of the chariot. We have Aquarius and Cancer. Wow. Look at all that. Pisces again. All right, listen. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Either this is someone that you're in a family connection with or you have a long-term relationship or a marriage to I feel like this um this water sign is is going to follow you I'm uh, you know what I got to tell you I'm I'm just like I don't trust this queen of swords because she's surrounded in this seven of swords and this ten of swords. She's up to she's up to some jinx, high jinx. She is. The Queen of Swords generally comes through as someone who's very truthful and honest, but she's surrounded by some pretty nasty cards. And the Queen of Swords she's not known to be a liar, but she is known to be strategic. Okay, so, and I'm not saying that, you know, this King of Cups is full of BS, but I feel like either she is projecting her own BS and blaming it on this King of Cups to try to put some, drive a wedge, because she's the one doing all this BS. Or it's she's it's actually true, and this is. But I can tell you, this has you in a little bit of a funk here over the weekend, and I uh, completely understand why your energy is like everybody just leave me alone. <laughs> I can't, it's just way so much drama because when somebody comes in and plants a seed of doubt <clears throat> in your relationship like that, oh man, that's like destructive. That can that can be very destructive. Depending on how long you've known the person or if there's already a little bit of doubt that's been planted from prior, okay? I mean, a rock-solid, hardcore relationship where you just, when you know you know your person and they're just not like that and there's no way, that's kind of hard to penetrate through that wall. 
But if there's been a seed of doubt from the past, or you don't know them that well, it's very easy to break through. Those walls are a little bit thin. And here's the boon. So this is a little bit of shade, for sure. There's shade on this reading over this weekend. So let me see. Let's take a look at you, a little bit more of you, because I feel like you're not just like you're hanging the phone up on everybody i feel like there's like of course virgo virgo's like yeah i just want to sit down and you know i'm going to turn on you know annie elise a little bit of crime documentary drama i'm going to watch a couple of like you know little investigative shows see what's going on with the menendez brothers you know what's happening and you know the crime world watch some of that stuff i'm gonna just get some snacks over the weekend and no 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 no, no. that's not that's not what's happening the drama is your life right now <laughs> and virgo's like no i don't i don't want my life to be drama i'm gonna watch somebody else's <laughs> you know yeah so look at you here you go good you need to take your weekend and just Y'all can just go over there and go play in the sandbox. I'm going over here to do some adult things. I'm not dealing with this over the weekend. Yeah, walk away. Abandon this ish, for sure. Other people's BS. Now, this might not be about you, a lover, and another person. This could be like you and your brother and a sister. This could be um, you and your friend and a co-worker. This could be uh, you and your parent and a sibling. It's just, it's another third party thing that I see happening here. And I feel like it's all coming on to you. Okay. Why is this other person coming in and projecting some nasty stuff onto you in regards to another person? Let's find out. Why are they pulling shade? Or if they are pulling shade, like what is the intention? Oh, look at that. Okay, for some of you, it has something to do. Either they are an ex, like a mother, okay? Or it's something to do with a mother. Um, or it has something to do with you being the new partner. Um, or it's a baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. Um it's jealousy of someone else's queendom, kingdom status. Because the empress is, you know, higher than the queens, of course. Yeah. Could have something to do with a pregnancy. Somebody's having a baby. Yeah. Let me see. Jealousy of her baby or pregnancy. or planned or plans being made with with a mother figure somebody's jealous there's plans oh it's just it's surrounding an empress let me just tell you that and the empress represents motherhood or it represents a mother or an older woman okay it surrounds that there's some i just feel like there's yeah look at this attraction lusty energy there's some jealousy there, you know, there's a little bit of like some jealousy. I just feel like that. Like the Nine of Wands is not a card of jealousy, but it surrounds that lusty. Someone's got lustful thoughts, and or someone's got a fear that another person because the moon's there, which represents fear. Someone's got a fear that another person is, if it's a romantic relationship, is is dreaming of another person in a lustful way. Like it's all wrapped up in a freaking I don't know Netflix drama. It's like a daytime soap. That's what's going on here. Yeah, so you, Virgo, you know, your weekend is like, you know what, I'm out. I'm out. I don't need this over the weekend. Yeah, if you, anybody else bothers me, I'm putting you all in jail. That's what's going on here. <laughs> yep, anybody else, but I'm just going to play the victim this weekend. Oh, I'm sorry, I just can't take your call. I'm sick. Talk to you later. I have the vid. Can't, I just can't. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'm sick. I have the flu. Bye. <laughs> I couldn't answer the phone. I was being held hostage. Yeah, I couldn't get to the phone. Sorry. I didn't have any hands. 
sorry, no fingers, and I just can't, it, I just can't pick up the phone with my feet. Just I haven't mastered that art yet, so I'm sorry, I'm not available. Yeah, sorry, my hands are tied. I'm busy. It was all tied up. I was kidnapped. I can't talk to you guys. I can't talk to anybody. So that's your energy over the weekend. You got an eight and an eight. An eight and an eight. And that represents a bit of uncertainty. Not really knowing what to do with the situation. And when in doubt, do nothing. Answers will be revealed. That's how I feel. Yeah, this is too much of an abur too much of a burden. The Virgo's like, I'm not laboring over love like this. No, I'm not laboring over this. Yeah, this is like, look at this. That's a struggle. That's y'all are, I'm leaving you, leave, the two of you can just go out there and struggle on your own. Just be out in the cold. Don't, you know, go get some, go get your soup from the soup kitchen. Don't come knocking at my door, right? No, look at the two of them. Look at them. This is how they are. This is who, these are the people you're dealing with right now, okay? Yeah, the blind leave, leading the blind here. This is what you're dealing with. Nope, you two can stay out in the cold. Yeah, so I feel like you're you're. <laughs> Virgo, <laughs> what a great weekend you have out of you. Yeah, like leave me alone. I need to heal. I, I don't need to deal with this drama. Okay, so I don't know. You know, uh, I, I all I can tell you is I. You know, I just feel like there's the. It's surrounding this Queen of Swords. I, I don't feel like there's a lot. I don't feel like this King of Cups is really. They're off to the side. This Queen of Swords was right there in the middle. Look. This this Queen of Swords is at the center of the problem. Masculine or feminine energy. The, the, the Queen of Swords is the center of the reading. It's all surrounding the Queen of Swords. She's right there in the middle. Monkey in the middle. Monkey see, monkey do. That King of Cups is off to the side. I feel like the King of Cups is a bystander in all this. This here, the core of the problem. Okay. Eventually, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation will be had. Okay. Between you and the King of Cups. I feel like an honesty, an honest, an honest communication. You guys will have an opportunity to get together and talk. Um maybe during a holiday of some sort to have a conversation like a heart to heart for sure about what's going on i just feel like like this queen of swords she's like she's poking she's got the sword she's got that she's got she's being that instigator and she's poking the bear okay there's a connection to children here as well so that could be uh little children it could be siblings there's some connection um to everybody here the children are involved in some way Nieces, nephews, children, the siblings, definitely. Okay. So that was the card of playfulness. I feel like this weekend, just put it on the back burner, all this drama. It's not going to get solved over the weekend. Uh, any attention you give to this fire, it's just going to blow up even more. And I feel like it's just going to get even worse if you just give it any attention. Just let everything settle. Um, the more, it's like your teeth. If you ignore them, they'll go away, right? So just ignore your teeth this weekend. Well, don't really ignore your teeth, but just ignore the situation. All right, let me get a couple other messages here for you. Yeah. <laughs> boredom <laughs> just completely get bored with it act as if give them the impression that you're just not interested honestly like this is boring me um there's better things to do okay like i'm gonna go travel this weekend i'm gonna go do something else I'm not involving myself with the drama at all i'm getting out of dodge like as fast as i can because why your test of faith and boundaries you're being tested here um spying online you're definitely being watched so go off the grid go off the radar this weekend for sure don't post anything um you have the high priestess so this is kind of like just be a bit mysterious just keep quiet um when you come back on monday i feel like when you you're gonna see a lot of missed calls a lot of text messages <clears throat> You can deal with all that later. <laughs> Spend some time with some good friends, for sure, over this weekend if you can. I don't care if it's your pets. I don't care if like you have 20 cats. Go hang out with your cats. 
Go hang out on the farm with all the animals. Go ride some horses. Do whatever. Go out into nature. Yeah. Enjoy yourself over this weekend. Just endure and be patient. Don't worry. Okay. Ghost and block them. That's it. Ghost and block them. All right. Let's see if we can figure out who the Chinese signs of uh, these people. We're going to look at these people. Leave me a comment, you guys, if this is resonating. And tell me how this is resonating in your life. Okay, you've got Ear of the Goat. Ear of the Dog. Ear of the Rat. Ear of the Monkey. Double Monkey. Monkeys play tricks. Ear of the Horse. Tricks are for kids. Ear of the Rabbit. Year of the Rooster, Year of the Goat again, and Year of the Snake, okay, that could be you, and, and I am saying that, yes, it could be you and this person, but, or all three of you, okay, could be none of you, either way, whatever works. All right, let's check out some Charmy Charms and some other messages, see if we can come up with some names. All right, Capricorn and Aries, definitely showing up here. Someone born in the month of April. Okay. All right, we've got the number 52. All right. September 18th, we've got age 33. We've got age 59. We've got 67. September 20th. We've got age 42, September 16th, 1990, September 2nd, September 7th, okay, somebody's a rabbi, oh, August 31st, okay, we have the initial K, I heard Carrie, we have Kelly, <laughs> better not be me, it's alright, because I ignore people anyway. Um, okay, we have the initial R, we have a B, we have an E, Kirby, we have an A, we have a T, and a, the letter V, okay, other initials, okay, all right, we have the letter J, we have O, letter D, letter U, and we have an X. Someone's born in the year of the ox. We do have Joe or Joanne, a J and an O, Joan, uh, Dub or Bud, Buddy. Someone has a boa, a snake. Someone has snakes. Okay, that's all right. Jax, J A X. Someone's a DJ. Okay, what about it? Just heard. What about it? Okay. I just said, what about it? And my Siri just tried to play What About It by JD Max or something. Look. About it by JDB. What the heck's going on? You know, it's weird, you guys. I don't know who that is, but that must be a song. There it is. About it. JDB. Must be a sign. My Siri goes off all the time. All the time on its own. All the time. I think it's listening to me. All right. September 4th, we have Aquarius and Leo. I hope my um, thing doesn't get banned for that. <laughs> Like a copyright thing. I don't even know who that is. I've never even heard of it. All right, let's get a charm for y'all. Oh. All right, two charms. Oh, geez, another like cat bird. I don't even know. This one, this time it's a cat with no ears. You know, why does spirit play with me like this with these weird messages? <laughs> what is that? Is that a cat with no ears? Why can't I? Just give me a regular animal. I don't feel like it's that hard. Like, I really don't. 
Is that a cat? Does he have ears? <laughs> I'm quitting. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm just going to go get a regular job at like Walmart now. I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. I must have to. Maybe I should just give up with the. Ch with the okay. So that's the message, right? So uh, here, so I think Spirit just wants me to make a fool of myself. I don't know. If you see a cat with no ears, aw, how sad. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he still has holes in his head so he can hear, but yeah, but still. It'd probably be off balance a little bit, I guess. A cat with no ears. Might be like a little stuffed kitty. He's just made that way. Okay. I don't want to talk about the cat with no ears. That makes me sad. There's also a feather. All right. So feathers galore. We're just getting nothing but feathers, but it's definitely a sign if you see a feather. This is your reading. I just want to give you one more charm. Please let it not be a crazy animal. Okay, so we have um, a pair of scissors. Okay, somebody's getting their hair cut. Somebody's cutting the shit out of this relationship. Cutting it off over the weekend. Some, a pair of shears. Somebody works as a hairdresser. Um, or getting a new pair of shears. Yes, definitely. There's something here. Uh, I also see two people kissing. Kiss and make up also. A little kiss and make up energy too. Come and forward after some kind of drama over this weekend for sure and just a little caveat for some of you you may not be even involved this might be someone that you're connected to just let me say um this some of you might be like this is not my story this is like nothing to do with me this might be someone like this could be someone you're connected to like a friend this might be happening to your friend or it could be happening to um anybody external to you so keep that in mind sometimes Spirit gives these messages, <clears throat> excuse me, through me. <clears throat> you might have a friend that's a Virgo, or a sister, or a brother that's a Virgo, or someone that else that you know, and you're getting this message to give to them. Okay, that's why we have a share button. So if you have a friend or someone external to you that you're like, wait, this is what they're going through, send it to them. Yeah, because this might be some advice here that they need. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. Not. As I was saying, not every message is for you. So if you're posting in here and you're like, this isn't for me, it doesn't even resonate, you're making no sense, chill out. You got to stay open with this stuff. Like I said, it may not be for you. That's what we mean by that. It could be for somebody else. So yeah. All right. Well, if you get a haircut this weekend, I hope it turns out beautiful and it's exactly what you want. I hope you're happy with it. And if you're ha cutting hair this weekend, I hope it was a beautiful cut. All right, you guys. So, yep, don't forget, if you want to book a reading with me, I am running a special for October. Spooky special. You can book with me. You can also book with Brandy. And I will see you all back here on Sunday. Take care. My heart.